Hello and welcome to Elgin, Stenhouse Muir. I've made the 170 mile journey north to Borough Briggs to take on Elgin City in the Cinch League 2. The home side Elgin currently boasts a second best home record in the league behind only Stenhouse Muir and of course last time at Borough Briggs back in October for the Warriors they were held to one all draw after Adam Brown's early goal. As for Elgin they picked up their first away victory of the season last week away at Ainsley Park with a 2-1 victory in dramatic fashion scoring in the 94th minute. And it's an unchanged lineup from that day with Tom McHale starting in goal, Lyle Booth, Mark Gallagher, Jake Dozanski, Russell Dingwall, Brian Cameron, Dion Golden, Michael Danganga, Owen Cairns, Keith Bray and Ross Draper make up your starting 11 at Ke- Kelly, Ewan, Jameson. Taylor, McClellan, Jeffries and Jones make up the bench for the home side. As for Stenhouse Muir, they'll be hoping to build on their one-all draw away at East Fife last week and Gary Nesmith has named two changes to that side. Nicky Jameson drops out the squad entirely and Ross Meekin has dropped to the bench with Gregor Buchanan and Ben Sterling coming in. So it's Darren Jameson in goal, your back four of Kingley Billum, Ben Sterling, Gregor Buchanan and Eden Lynch, your midfield. It's Mikey Anderson, Hugh O'Reilly, Kyle Jacobs, Nat Wedderburn. It's a front two of Matty Aitken and Matty Yates. Stenhouse Muir will be hoping to get their first victory here at Borough Briggs of the season after the draw back in October. They did, however, beat Elgin at Oakle View just before Christmas during that historic winning run. Played along by Elgin. Headed by Sterling. Can gets a touch and Nat Wedderburn has fouled Bray. It's going to be a free kick in a dangerous position here for Elgin. Good chance. Gallagher with the free kick and he goes close. Early warning sign for Stenhouse Muir. Stolzanski played down the wing. Played to Dingwall. A fake cross. Crosses it eventually. And again, it's another good ball. Cameron was there waiting at the back post but just couldn't quite get to it. Here come Elgin again. Golding. Being pressured by Yates and Buchanan. Gets a cross in. And just about away, Kyle Jacobs clears it only as far as Booth. He will take the shot and it's just wide of the target but again Elgin coming close played to Gallagher back to Delzanti who will go long and Kenley Bell looks like he will get get to the ball trying to see it out and doesn't quite Cairns plays a ball in and Dan Jameson has to be there We're just going to take a moment. Buchanan. Played to Eaton Lynch. Back to Buchanan, who plays it to Wedderburn. He's dispossessed. Kyle Jacob tries to get their Goldings in. Will Golding get a shot away? He does. And it's just off and it's bit rebounded in. Bray with the rebound, but it's not going to count with the linesman's flag up. A good chance there for Elgin. Great play by Golden to get the shot away, but it's parried by Jameson and Bray, puts it into the back of the net, but this is just to be offside from the official. Anderson to Yates. Yates will put a cross in, headed away by Dozans, so it's going to be a Stenish Muir corner, chance to get some of the defenders forward. Stenish Muir being dangerous from set pieces this season. They'll be hoping to add to it here. Matt Yates will play it short to O'Reilly. Matt Yates will play it back to Cross Ding and Nat Wedderburn's there! Nat Wedderburn, he's gotten his first goal of the season and he's put Stenish Muir in front here at Borough Briggs in the 17th minute. And you have to say, he's come against the run of play here. It's a great ball by Matty Yates. And Nat Wedderburn rises highest and gets his head on it. 
Mikhail can't quite get there. And puts Stenkerspear 1 0 up in this match. Stenkerspear will now look to defend this lead. Elkin will pull long from the centre. Kenley Bell with a throw. Played to Wedderburn. Back to Bell. Plays it to Wedderburn. Into Yates. So play it in. Not quite defended. Hugh O'Reilly's there. Still, Hugh O'Reilly has a ball. And he gets a shot away, but it's well saved by Mikhail. He will go on almost instantly. And Gary Buchanan's there and gets it cleared. Eden Lynch will come and take the throw. Played in Kyle Jacobs, plays it to Matt Anderson, who's dispossessed. Matt Wedwin plays to Matty Yates, leaves it for Bill. We'll get a crossing. It's well cleared by Cameron. Not quite as Kyle Jacobs gets a shot away again. Just off target. Kyle Jacobs play, intercepts. Played out to O'Reilly. Who will look to get a crossing. Played back into the middle to Wedderburn. Played to Matty Yates. Yates will dribble. Played back at White to O'Reilly. He'll try and beat the man. Doesn't quite. It's well defended by Elgin. But it's out for another Stenhousemuir corner. Elgin have the corner. Played in. It's a good header. Not quite away. Not quite cleared by Stenhousemuir. Is that a push by Matty Yates? Referee thinks it is. Penalty to Elgin. And Stenhousemuir will complain. Soft penalty, Stenhouse Muir players think, but Matty H does have his hand in player. It'll be Dingwall to step up. And he sorts it home nice and calmly. Dan Jameson guessed the right way, but it's a great penalty by Dingwall to equalise for Elgin. And you can't say they haven't deserved it here. They've created loads of chances and got the reward with a equaliser. It's a good penalty. Darren Jameson went the right way but couldn't quite save it. Just played in. Not quite cleared. Kyle Jacobs with a header. Lynch can't quite get it away. He's pressed here by Golden. Golden's got the ball. Not quite away. It's there for Cameron. And he's put it in. It's a good finish by Cameron. Just inside the box and a good half volley into the roof of the net and it's put Elgin City in front here at Borough Briggs played along from Elgin Jacobs heads it to Wedburn who's dispossessed by Cameron and Elgin and he's got past Jameson but Ben Stone clears it well again Elgin coming forward played down the wing Cal Jacobs head to Matty Yates. He plays on O'Reilly quickly, and O'Reilly looks like he's in away here. Can he beat the defender? He's got past the couple. There's going to be a free kick on the edge of the box in a dangerous position. We know only too well that Matty Yates can hit them from here. Gone for it. Just over the bar. It's a decent effort from Matty Yates, but just off target. Remains here 2 1 to the home side. Michaela into the second half. Wedderman's played it to Matty Aiken. Plays it to Matty Yates. He's got options, he's got Jacobs on the overlap. Decides not to use him. Bill will pick up. And he's almost dispossessed by Cameron. Wedderburn with the ball, Mike Yarkson flicks it on to Matty Yates, plays in O'Reilly, can O'Reilly do something, can get a shot away but as an 
easy save for Miguel. Can we go ahead to Jacobs to Wedderburn? Into Aiken, played to Yates. He plays it wide to O'Reilly. Can O'Reilly do something? He'll get the shot away and it's in. O'Reilly gets equaliser for Stennis Muir. It's a great finish. Couldn't have placed it any better. Miguel was left with no chance to get and save that. It's brilliant build up play from Stennis Muir. Played out to O'Reilly and we've seen him score that type of goal already this season. Away at Stair Park and it's a vital equaliser for Stennis Muir here at Borough Briggs. Now, can Stenhis Muir go and get a winner? Matty Yates will have a free kick. Chance to get into the box. Played in. Almost catches out the goalkeeper there, Mikey Anderson, but isn't quite able to do so. Mikhail will go long. Matty Aitken will contest. Elgin will pick up. A chance to go forward with Jones. And that is full time at Burr Briggs. It's another draw in this fixture. Two all this time. But it's a good, well, hard fought draw for both sides. I think on balance of play it's probably a fair result. And if you're Gary Naismith you take a point having been down at half time. But again, the travelling fans showing their appreciation for the players, those fans have been up and down the country this season and they'll be loving life at the moment, sitting pretty at the top of the league with a historic 12 game winning run in between Christmas and New Year and it's a good point, point on the road at Borough Bricks, not many teams have been able to come up here and take points off Elgin and as you can see the fans are very happy with the point that Burr Briggs and the players showing their appreciation to the fans. Stephanie Muir back in action next week. They've got Clyde at home after two weeks on the road. They're back at Oakleview against Clyde where they will hope to get back to winning ways after a couple of draws.